Yeah. This is an easy connection. I totally feel um, that we're like kindred spirits a little we bit. We certainly are. In education specifically, because I obviously know that that's something that fuels all of your projects and obviously Very much this so. one. Okay, so I have this after show that I do only for YouTube and I call it last call because one, it's last call at a bar. It's when you've been drinking Love and it. you have, you're more introspective and you op you're more of an open book, but it's also last call because we uh, take our dogs out for last call every night and we say last call and the dogs either go or don't go. So that's why I called it last call, but it's really just 11 questions inspired by the show inside the actor's studio. Did you ever catch that show? Uh, I'm addicted, or well, was addicted before, yes. Okay, so he remembered Lipton. James. Yes, he was the, may he rest in peace. He was such a good soul and such, such, a, such a class act and just a great human being. So I got inspiration from those last questions he would ask all of his guests. It was always the same questions. It was like, what's your favorite word? What's your favorite curse word? Blah, blah, blah. So I have all of these questions, but they're pet related. Love it. Okay, so first, and actually, I don't know what breeds your dogs are, so we'll talk about that real quick. But what is your favorite breed? Oh gosh, mutt. I don't have a favorite breed. I just don't. What are your pups? They're amazing. They're also mutts. Well, okay. Uh, Teeny D Martini is probably Chihuahua Papillon mixed with, you know some sort of woodland creature. That was um, exactly the image in my head for a dog named Teeny Demartini. It was know, right? Papillon perfect. Like that's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> you know. And Mabel, I don't know, she's the scruffalophagus. She's also tiny. Uh, and there's part border terrier in there, but she was found at about five months. Um, destitute and sickly and starving on the streets of Mexico and someone rescued her and at seven months I she came to our home oh I love it so sweet and you and you put in the notes that they both suffered from separation anxiety teeny Mabel martini still. yes Mabel okay still. Mabel still you're still working on that okay. still working on that. well lucky girl she ended up where she did yeah I already have all ironies for me but yes Yes. yes. That wasn't, you didn't on, um, you didn't adopt her knowing that. No, I did not. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I mean, Our, you said 50%. So like the chances are pretty good that one of us is going to end up. High. <laughs> chances are pretty high. I, and, and I don't know if you, for your, um, for your after show, your last call, are you, I know you're recording the audio, but are you, um, recording the video i mean i know you're recording yes yes right yes now. yes i share the video on youtube mm -hmm. okay well can i share my picture of course it. yay <gasps> oh my gosh i don't so know which teeny, one i like more teeny is on the <laughs> left and mabel the scruffalophagus is on the right they are so so cute. Oh they're my god. They're so funny. They're so funny together. So how old are they? Thank you for indulging me. Of so course. uh Teeny D Martini is almost eleven and Mabel is one. Oh does, they, does Mabel keep her young? Keep Teeny D Martini she's young? So keeping her young, but but Teeny's always been a spitfire, so she's never slowed down since the day I got her. So, right. you know, she keeps up just fine with Miss Mabel. Well, I mean, there's a lot of Chihuahua in there. They're spitfires right. for sure. Yeah. What is your least favorite breed? Oh, that's and you so... can be diplomatic or you can just name a, ble a breed. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I will say I do have a least favorite breed, um, but I love the people that love this breed i just happen to have had a very unfortunate experience with this particular breed and it left my condition uh, conditioned emotional response a little leery um so i'm not a not a big fan of shepherds like german shepherds and malinois and things like that i think they're beautiful i think they're so smart 
but I couldn't have one in my home. And I, that was from a childhood experience that I just didn't, yeah, didn't work out oh, so well for yeah, me. Yeah, no, I hear that. I hear that. And that's a lot of what people say. It's either I've had a bad experience with this particular breed or like I just, I just don't, I don't have an affinity with this breed. So yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's okay. And I want to normal, one of the reasons I asked that question is because I want to normalize the fact that we have favorites and least favorites and that's okay. Mm -hmm. And that every breed is not for every person and every person is not for every breed. That's exactly right. And that's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's totally okay. So do your pets sleep in your bed? Oh, do you, do you want to guess the answer to yes. that? Yes. So let the, the question should be, do your pets let you sleep in your bed? They do. <laughs> and they are very gentle and gracious about it. Um, Mabel loves sleeping on Kevin and, you know, poor, poor Kevin is like, I got to move. And she's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm really comfortable here. Uh, but Teeny is very sweet. She uh if i move she moves and then if kevin moves she moves back and yeah Aww. but they she's are she's a pro yeah. i mean she's 11 she's been doing this for a while she's she, she figured has it out. the whole thing <laughs> dialed out you got it who or what wakes you up in the morning so my husband well yeah no my husband wakes me up he he gets up every morning at 3 30 and i get up between 3 30 and 4 um because of his work schedule and uh but it's but the reason it's not really he he wakes me up because as soon as he gets up and starts getting dressed the little ladies are ready for breakfast and oh. uh so then I'm like, ah, they're up and they're making breakfast and tea and coffee yeah and the, the whole house are. is up now you're up what am I gonna do? You know. I hear that. I hear that. What is your most used training command or cue? I would say that it's recall. Uh, so, and for both of them, they 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 have two um, cues. Um, the, either their name, which they come on a dime for or i say girls 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 <laughs> and then they come running when they but then they both come running i love it that's a good one what's your least used training commander cue stay you don't use it you don't like it it's not that i don't like it i just i have so many management tools in place that i just feel like I've just never been the best trainer when it comes to duration behaviors like stay. Oh, okay, nice. I like that. Okay, so you just, they don't need to be reminded to stay because you have them in place. Yeah, barriers. I have them in place uh, well, either with barriers or with management in the sense of a cue, like go to your mat, I'm gonna open the front door Got and it. it's only for 20 seconds while I get the mail and then I close the door and then I'm like, all right, you're good, you're free, you know. Okay, so, I love But that. I never, I've never really installed a duration stay on either of them. Hmm, okay, that's a, actually a popular one um, because it's kind of um, passive, I guess. Some people think of it as passive. Like yeah. tell them what you want them to do, not just like stay there and stare at me. Yeah. What pet related noise do you love? Oh my gosh, there's so many, but since Mabel is new to the house, I'm going to I'm going to tell you my favorite of hers. She snores, but her snoring is like almost like a cartoon. She goes <laughs> I love it. Makes this cooing noise when she snores, and it is divine. I and love then that. my second favorite, or equally favorite, is we call Teeny. Uh, she makes what we call piggy noises when we rub her belly or her back. She goes. Ah, mwah, mwah, mwah. Oh, I love that! Yes, I know exactly what you're saying. Favorite. So awesome. Favorite. What pet-related noise do you hate? Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, <laughs> Teeny just started 
working. <laughs> so the pet related noise that well, I want to, you know, hate is a strong word, but the pet related noise that does annoy me is um, when the neighbor dog barks and then they get themselves into a frenzy. And fortunately for me, as soon as I say, girls, 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 they come running with that 20 seconds that they're barking at the neighbor dog and the neighbor dog is, you know, charging the fence or whatever, that, that does get under my nerves. Yeah, for sure. That's a little bit stressful. What pet related profession other than your current profession would you think would be fun to have? I would love to work with penguins. Ooh, that's I think they're cool. the coolest animals ever. And I think it would be amazing to be in that world of biology and, and just seeing the behavior of an animal that is so different from what we have in our homes. Right. And I mean, we're, we're all mammals, right? Like dogs, cats, humans. I mean, penguins, you're talking about a totally different, different. everything. Like everything they do is different from what we're familiar with. And I want to like know the whole other spectrum of the animal yeah. world. Exactly, know? exactly. Yeah. What pet related profession would you never want to try? grooming that's a popular one <laughs> i'm sure it's a popular one yeah i i just yeah i i love the fear free groomers that take the explicit time to say i'm gonna you know clip off a little hair here are you comfortable with that oh no you're not <laughs> let's give you a treat and we'll be okay with the next little clip or whatever but I, 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 that would not be my profession. It's hard. I love a freshly groomed dog. I just don't want to be the one to do it. I don't want to sure. do it either. And I also have terrible allergies, so no. Oh, oh, interesting. Are you allergic to your girls? Not allergic to my girls, but I'm allergic to a lot of dogs, believe it or not. Interesting. You know, it's actually the last trainer I interviewed is super allergic to dogs too. And I'm like, interesting career choice. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Really? You, you went there, huh? Yeah, you went there. <laughs> Okay, last question. If the Rainbow Bridge exists, who is the first pet to greet you when you arrive? Oh, it's a toss up, but, oh, don't make me cry. It's okay if you cry. It's between Maverick and Leia. Uh, Leia's only, not recently, but in the last several years past, but Maverick was my first dog as an adult and he passed very tragically. And um, he inspired me to become a dog professional as many dog professionals have been inspired by their heart and soul dog. And uh, I would have a very different life it ha if it had not been for him. And so I think they're probably very fast friends at this point in time, and they would both be there in equal measure. Oh, I love that so much. It's so true. It's that soul dog that changes your life for the better uh, and that you never get over losing for sure. Never. Yeah. Love it. Well, Maverick was and Leia were super lucky to have you as a dogma. I mean, come on. No, I was the really lucky one. I really was. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you again for taking the time to chat with me, for spending your Saturday afternoon slash evening with me. It's been such a pleasure, truly. Oh, it's been so fun. Yay. I loved all of your questions. You Yay. did make me tear up, so, you know, whatever. I'm teared up, too. Oh, I, I yeah, always tear so. up when I see that you guys are moved to emotion and like re recalling the um the pets that we've lost is always a good thing even though it tugs at our heartstrings a little it bit tugs at our hearts but isn't this what makes us human yes and what makes us the pet professionals pet lovers that we are right for other people it's like oh that was a good dog but to us it's 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 more special than just that it is it really